In today's video, we pick up a 2005 STI. We're gonna use this as the donor car so that we can STI swap our old Impreza. There's a couple ways to go about getting STI parts and source everything that you need. We'll dive into all those options, what led me to buying a full running car. We get this car tuned so it runs right. We do its first oil change. We do a really deep clean on it. This car sounds really, really good. You guys are gonna enjoy it. Let's go get the car. We'll talk about some more details as the story moves on. And then on a video after this, we take it to the Canyon third person view, get the most clean video and audio of the most purest rumble I think I've ever heard been around driven. I've fallen in love with this car and I'm actually still working on finding a ways that I don't have to take everything off this car because I want to keep it. And funny enough, my dad has fallen in love so much with this car. He said he would buy it if I could find another car that we can get parts to swap, but that's been harder than I thought and we still have a little bit of time by the time you're watching this, so enjoy this car for what it is right now. These things are awesome. Uh, every time, I always buy the first car I look at. I don't, I don't know if this is a blessing or a curse anymore. I'm wildin' boys. Just looked at the first STI to possibly swap into the Impreza. It's 8.40 p.m. I'm coming back at 8 a.m. tomorrow to go for a test drive because his neighbors don't let him start it, so they're mad about the noise. I'll tell you more about it tomorrow. Gosh dang it. I'm out here sending it so crazy for you guys. You guys have no idea, literally no idea how much I have on the line. It's just, it's just getting crazy. But I know you guys will come through. Back on the road, stayed up all night thinking about it. 7.13 a.m. If it's good, I have all day to think about it until he gets off work and I can bring him money at the end of the day if I want it. So today's going to be a weird day. Today is going to be a calculated risk processing day. <laughs> some dude coming to look at it later. He kept being persistent about it. some dude like this is from out of town. So I made him an offer real close to what he wanted bottom line. And even though I said cash tonight, I'll be here, no BS, no, no don't have to deal with anyone. He still was like, oh, I need to show this guy, he's gonna hit me up every day, every day. I'm like, all right, I guess we'll see if it's meant to be. bright and early. We're gonna take off the wheels, we're steam cleaning, we're going crazy on this thing. And I got my handy dandy Big Daddy Milwaukee here with a 19 millimeter socket. I have an Amazon link in the description with a bunch of awesome tools I use all the time. This is on there. This puppy's expensive. It took me a long time to get it, but whoo boy. This thing rips. <laughs> got the previous owner's name and we've got his homeboy maybe girlfriend I don't know take a heat gun let's get these off before we clean it tomorrow I 
you're not some adhesive remover solvent i will leave a link in the description to some stuff that you can use in order from amazon goo gone there's all kinds of options this is kind of industrial grade stuff we just need to get a ton on there let it soak in and this stuff is gonna sometimes just take some elbow grease to get off, but I like to let this goo gone solvent stuff kind of soak into it. it. Makes your life a little easier. It's got a plastic razor blade here. These things are awesome. Oh yeah, this just comes right off now. All that excessive adhesive. If you're a detailer, skip this part. I don't really care about this paint. The whole car is kind of messed up. If you guys are new here and you like what you see, you enjoy building confidence in the garage, learning everything we can about sports cars, going on the journey of building every type of car we can out there so you can see what you like, what you don't, what's worth spending your precious money you work for, hit that subscribe button and the best possible way to support the channel by far is karmaspeak.com. Grab a shirt, hat, sticker, anything on the website. It helps the channel so much. Follow us on Instagram, Karma Speed as well, because you can see when we're doing giveaways, you can see when we're having sales, you can see when new products come out. I appreciate you guys so much. Go check it out and uh, have a great day, week, wherever you're at. I appreciate you. All right, we're live. This is Kyler. How Kyler. we doing? Pink Detail, Yes. you are the owner. Yes. How long ago did you start this? I started this in uh, early 2020, yeah. So uh, I've been detailing for about 10 years. I have another company in Seattle. Uh, detailing's always been a passion of mine, love cars. And so coming down here in the Arizona sun was just a no brainer when you come from that many days of rain. And so I'm excited to take you guys through this project and show you what we can do for uh, this STI. Step one, what are we doing? We're gonna start with the uh, the wheels. And then we're gonna introduce you to, this is Kushan. Sean, hey, how's everybody doing? How you living? Pretty good, you know? How long you been detailing cars with Kyler? Uh, about two months now. And I uh, gotta say it's pretty great so far. We are doing a light decom with solution underneath and we are gonna get the years of caked on dirt out of here. We're gonna add some uh, horsepower just by taking off some pounds of dirt here. And so we're gonna give it a nice clean rod. We're just spraying it with solution right now. All I'm trying to do is basically score the surface and then I'm gonna go through with our foam gun and we're gonna really let the ash and flat. But we're gonna go through just get the majority of this and we'll be ready inside. Game plan. Oh, it's time for steam clean. We're gonna go through. We're gonna get the entire interior dialed in. We did a nice little wash clay wax on the outside. We're gonna go through, blow out all the carpets right now with compressed air. Then we're gonna go through, treat everything with steam, all of the cloth, all the suede, all of the vinyl too on the inside. Then we will lay down what's called clean and shine. 
It's gonna give everything a nice rich look. It's not gonna be greasy. It's not gonna be oily. It's not gonna leave any sort of streaky finish. It is a water-based dressing. It's gonna soak into the plastics, leave it looking nice and new. Also, we'll give it a good little smell in there too, just to get it juiced back up from, you know, 2005. Yeah, that's good. waiting for Kyler to come back in here. I've never actually had someone detail my own car inside and out and the interior looks sweet. It's literally like we just teleported back to 2005. How clean this is. And I always wanted this as a kid. Like everything's super clean. The blue carpet with the black mat. The dash looks good. This is gonna be perfect. I'm super pumped on this. I already love driving this car so much. Me and my girlfriend go out to dinner. It's just a way cozier car, and with a clean interior, it's just nice. I didn't realize how dirty this car was. It was really, really dirty. Door panels looking good. These had a lot of black rub marks on them. They're looking good. The white paint pops better now. Let's touch with Kyler on how to get a hold of him. I really enjoyed his company, and I know you guys will too. He takes care of your nice stuff. He's a logistics guy. He just gets it. Ooh, hoo, hoo, yeah. Hey, how think? do we get a hold of you? Oh, best way, pinkdetail.com or pinkdetailarizona.com. Go to his website, schedule online. This man's phone be blowing up. Be the type of customer to just make his life easier. You guys will enjoy his company and everything else like that. So super awesome process, really good result. I'm really happy. Kyler, I appreciate you. Yes, Have yes. a good rest of your day. It feels good to make a new friend and thank you for having us out. So Heck for yeah. sure. All right, man. The first thing you should be paying attention to with a STI that you're buying, especially an older one like this, is hey, what tune is it running? Does it have feedback knock? Does it have fine knock learn? Is the dam staying at one? Here in Arizona, we have low fuel quality. Subarus don't like that, and we have to have a tune that compensates for that. This previous owner of this car ran this car 117,000 miles on a Cobb Stage 2 map. He had a rev limiter set at 5,000. He grainy shifted it everywhere. I respect him for that. The car is super nice now because of it. He put octane booster in every tank. You can do that, but you don't have to do that. I knew very quickly that I could reach out to Delicious Tuning, which I have a link in the description if you guys want to reach out to them because they solve my problems very quickly. I got a stage two map on this car from them. It only took two revisions to really get it dialed in. The car has no feedback knock, no fine knock learned, and my dam stays at one with no octane booster. So I'm super thankful for them helping me out right away. Usually you don't want to e-tune with these STI motors, but since I'm doing low boost, nothing crazy. This is an old tired motor. E-tuning is totally fine. I'll dive more into the specifics of this because I feel very strongly on the processes you should run through after you buy a used STI. So expect a follow up with this and I'll clarify a lot more things and go into detail. Thanks Delicious Tuning for uh, helping me out with this. If you guys wanna get your card situated right after you get it, hit the link in the description to their website, order a stage two map, spend a couple hundred bucks, and ensure that you don't blow up your STI motor right away as a little blanket of insurance. proper 
STI oil change. You gotta have mode tool. I like to run 5W40. It's just kind of the overall consensus of uh, a weight for the EJ platform. You don't have to do 300V. It is a little more expensive. I have some links in the description to the regular. I think it's the 8100 series or the 300V. Just buy mode tool, but pick which you can afford. This is just like the extra nice stuff. And then we have the end all be all oversized oil filter. Um, sometimes you gotta go to your dealership and get this. So this is your code right here. I think it's on Amazon as well. I'll leave a link to it. So you don't even have to go to the dealership. You can just get it from here. And then if you're wondering what this is, this is the crush washer for the drain plug. So you don't have any leaks. So you just put a brand new one on every time. Like when you go to O'Reilly's AutoZone, you look up the one it can use and they're tiny. This thing's it's a big boy here compared to the other one. Straight from Tokyo. To start our job, we've got a 17 millimeter, 13 little dikes to cut off our zip ties right here. And then just pull the tray off and get after it. Yep, there's the little baby one, factory one. We'll put a bigger one on there. We just got a new oil catcher. This thing's pretty legit. I normally use this guy right here. I'm gonna say it now, I'm gonna say it again. You guys don't need a car lift if you're looking to do car stuff. This is five years in the making, we have a lift. So you can definitely do stuff on the ground. We'll continue to do stuff on the ground, but for easy jobs like this that you guys have seen a million times over, we're gonna be using the lift. Randall has one of these deals that you put on the bolts to twist it off so you don't get oil on your hands. This is gonna be added to the Amazon list of basic tools and necessities for your garage. I wish I would've had this a long time ago. This stuff was toast. At least there's plenty of oil. It's usually not the case with these. Usually you can pull these off with your hand, but this was really tight, so Randall got out the oil filter pliers. Is that what you call them? You just do a little dance right there and not get any oil on your hand? Sure did. Oh. Add some oil on the seal. A little touch, a little rub. Hand tight. Randall found the Missing ones right here, put that in. Come over here and set of zip ties. 